this is just a, a little short video, just an update to my video to the stars, my uh, second short video that I did, uh, where I showed you how to basically turn on your manual focus um, on the Nikon P900 camera uh, by using either the user, the aperture, or the speed, or the fully programmable setting function, and then going in and turning on your manual focus. However, in that video um, where I was explaining that um, the camera isn't designed really as a telescope and the lenses um, are not as good a quality maybe as you would find in a telescope and you have to be aware that if you're trying to photograph the stars, you will not get a perfect image with the camera. And you certainly need um, a very sturdy um, base. Be, um, it, even a tripod, when you're photographing stars, you will not eliminate camera shake. Now, I was saying on there that also, if you video it, um, you will get the, the VR function kick in where it actually eliminates some of the shake, but this means that it's constantly adjusting uh, the image that you see and processing it from multiple images. And the video function, you are going to lose quality as well. So if you want to photograph the stars, then use it on the still function and get as strong as base as you can. I prefer the um, the beanbag uh, method where, where it extracts the air from out of the bag and actually forms a very sturdy, very uh, firm base. This is actually better than a tripod uh, in many cases, especially on, on when you're going this long focus, long distance high zoom um but realistically uh you do as i said in my second video you do need to be on photo and not on video um still photography is far better for doing these images and the faster speed you can get the shorter the the aperture the, the speed of the uh picture uh, and the wider the aperture, the better the picture you're going to get. Um, if you can get a very long exposure on a very firm base, then you will get very good clarity. You do need to focus by eye. And autofocus, or using the inf infinity focus on the camera, will not give you focus it actually cannot determine the distance and even on the infinity setting you could actually technically be over focusing beyond infinity i know that sounds crazy um but you have to understand how the lenses and how the focusing works now i did um earlier this month um i took a photo of the conjunction between uh, Venus and Jupiter, I happened to be in a very dark area. I was, there was no light pollution. I was on the north coast of Scotland um, and got a, very, a clear night, clear enough to see the stars when I realized what I was, what, what was happening. Um, Cause I wasn't looking for it and I wasn't ready for it. Um, so this image here is, um, my image of the conjunction between Venus and Jupiter. Um, this is handheld. This is on one sixth of a second um, picture and it's not perfect, but it is far better than if you let the autofocus go and it over focuses. And what I'm going to show you here, some images now, of what overfocus will do. And here we have an image where I've overfocused on something. 
and I'm going to pull the focus back, back and you'll see how the well they look like giant orbs which is quite often if you just get your camera out and put it on video and start video in the stars this is the kind of image you will see your star looking like or you might see a, a, a white spot sort of almost like an electron in an atom zooming around this this orb and that isn't what the star looks like you need to you need to pull back your focus i mean when i when i pulled back my focus i was actually pulling it back from infinity where i got the really big orbs and i pulled it back so i mean i was near enough uh, 20 meter according to the camera my focal length was 20 meters and that's how far you've really got to pull it right back you've got to remember that you need to be seeing pinpoints not orbs like this and you have to focus by eye and this is how it should look and so on this um demonstration here you can see i've actually rotated it just to make it look like the um conjunction photo that i took but this is uh, actually some um highlights on a chrome tap in my uh motorhome i was just sat at the table and I thought, oh, I'll do this as a demonstration. So this is the the um, the orb effect that you see when you just point and press the camera is not the true image. It's not what it should look like. It should look like pin sharp, pinpoints, not these giant orbs with very fast moving little pinpoint within the orb itself. As you might get on the video and that was just just an update there on because i felt that after doing the video and explaining how to go to manual focus people then i thought it was just a logical step that you actually you should know what you're looking at and know that it needs to be a pinpoint and not this giant orb and people because people would go into manual focus put it on infinity straight out and it's still out of focus you need to pull that focus in and you need to do it manually by eye and i hope that explains that a little bit more um and that you actually do those that you are looking at doing photo uh, photographs of the stars with the camera like i say it's not designed to do that the lenses are not designed set up to do that these are multi-purpose multi-function cameras and the lenses are not designed to photograph the stars however you can get some nice images as long as you go for the focus nothing will focus automatically at that distance however far you think that is whether you think that's 21 light years or 50 light years or whether you think it's a couple of miles you still need to pull back that focus you know whatever you think but focus by eye what you're looking for is pinpoints not giant orbs okay hope that uh, explains that and i hope you understand why i'm i did this little video thanks and uh, please subscribe and i'll put a link into the uh, the uh, first video that I did okay and uh, I'm just sorting out now we've been out for our second trip in the motorhome and I'm just gonna start doing uh, putting some video together for that <laughs> okay see you soon and don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you and there you go please like subscribe and share my videos thanks